Hey you guys, it's Coffee, and today I am going to be showing you a mod, and it's also kind of like a mod slash my series with building new crest because I've added a new house and some new people to the house. Um, I will show you guys at the end where you can get the house and where you can get this couple from the gallery. But right now I just want to go over the mod with you guys. So the mod that I have installed is the mega pregnancy mod. And basically what that entails is I should be able to allow my Sims through a mod to have triplets or twins. And I also get to choose the sex of the children. So I will not be using this in the hundred baby challenge because I feel like that's cheating. <laughs> but I thought it was a really cool addition just to have in your game if that's something that you absolutely want for a family or maybe you've recreated your own real life in The Sims and you really want your two characters to have triplets because you have them, you know, whatever, whatever your simming needs might be. So right now, I have my two Sims, which is Nina Dobrev and Ian Summerhalder. Yes, I'm a big Vampire Diaries fan. Um, I have the two of them going to try for a baby because you do have to have a pregnant Sim to actually activate the mod. Um, I will also show you guys at the end how you go about installing the mod. So I just want to first and foremost double check and make sure that it works. Um, I have not tested this yet, so this should be interesting. So they are going to woohoo. Obviously we've seen this a thousand times. Um, they are going to woohoo. I'm gonna take a coffee sip. Mm. Whoa, I'm not sure why they got up all weird. Okay. So I'm gonna go, and as you can see, this house is something pretty impressive that I do want to show off to you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and take a pregnancy test. We're going to have Nina take a pregnancy test. I kind of want to change her name to, um, not Catherine. Catherine is like the evil one. What the heck is her name? Elena instead of Nina. Okay, so she is expecting, that's what we need. So you, like I said before, you do need to make sure that you are doing this on a pregnant sim. So all you do is click on her and you should get this option that says pregnancy and you can actually set the stage. You can terminate the pregnancy, which is super sad, but if you are making like a machinima or something, I could see that being very useful. You can set the offspring. I'm gonna set mine to triplets and I want it to be two girls and one boy. So there is that. It looks like she's about to go and tell Ian that she is pregnant. Um, I thought they would be a really fun addition to Newcrest, especially putting them in like this super modernized home. Uh, because, you know, even if you look at them, Wimble pregnancy mods that Offspring Nina is pregnant with triplets, <laughs> two girls and a boy. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, why is this audio so loud in my ear holes? I'm really sorry, but I have to fix this. This is making me crazy. Um, like it's like hurting my ears. Okay. So I probably should have done that before I started. So I'm really sorry. Uh, but so she is now, okay. Your eyes look a little weird, a little strange. Okay. So she is now pregnant, but what we're going to do is we can actually, nope, no, no, no. We can actually go to pregnancy and go set stage. So I could put her in her second trimester right now. Boosh. That's her second trimester. I could go ahead and put her in her third trimester. Boom, she's all preggers. Let me go ahead and change her outfit to every day. Okay, cause I was gonna say, I did put her in something that to me deemed a little bit more acceptable maternity wise. Um, so now let's go ahead and what I love about this is you can, you can actually put the sim in labor at your own leisure. And I like that. So she is now in labor. Um, I don't think I'm going to go to the hospital because I'm not sure if the mod works if you go to the hospital. So I'm actually going to have her just have the baby at home or babies at home. And I'm going to go ahead and super speed through this. She's in labor where she's going to apparently sleep it out. Um, we'll go ahead and put Ian to sleep as well, because I feel like if we do that, it'll make the game speed up even more and <clears throat> hopefully make the children arrive much quicker. It should. Okay, here we go. Nina is having a baby. So, you know, the typical here. She is going to go. Where are you going, boo? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Oh, she's going into the nursery. Okay. I don't know if I put enough cribs out <clears throat> cribs out here for this. So I don't know if they're just going to like magically appear or what what. But you get the idea here. Oh, I love the green. That's cute. How come? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Okay. So the first baby is a baby girl. Nina just gave birth to a baby girl. Um, we're obviously going to change this last name to Summer Halder. Actually, I think I am going to change their names. So we're going to change it to... What are their names? It's Damon and... I really can't remember right now. It's Damon and what the crap is his name? I really can't remember their last name. So I guess it is gonna be Doe Brev for right now. I will change it later. Um, we'll just randomize their names. Ebony, Annika, that's cute. I like Annika. Um, then we gave birth to another baby girl, which is what we asked for. I would kind of like another A name. Ooh, Lucy was cute too. Oh, never mind. I'm not gonna do an A name. I'm gonna name her Ruby. Um, cause I love that name. And then here is our baby boy. So we will go ahead and name him. Let's name him. I'm trying to think, is there any like fallen cast members that I would like to, I really like the name Alar Alaric. I love the name Alaric so much. I would name my son that, but Andrew doesn't like it. Not pregnant at the time, but, um, at this current moment, but you know, so, okay, there we go. Whoa. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, pause, pause. Okay. Achievement triplets. Nina and Ian had triplets. Have a sim give birth to triplets. Wow. I got an achievement for that. That's really cool. Okay. So I don't have enough cribs. I don't think for all these kiddos. So I'm going to have to remedy that. Oh no. It gave me cribs. We cool. We cool. Here's one. There's two. Where's baby number three? Oh, right here, right her. So as you can see, there are triplets, um, which I think is super cool. I have never played with a family with triplets before. And like I said, you can do twins, triplets. And if you go to the link down below to get <clears throat> this mod, you will actually be able to also get a mod where you can have like quints and I think it's like six, six, six tuplets, something tuplets. I don't know, maybe it's quintuplets. I don't know how to say it. But um, you can actually have, I think, up to like six kids or something in one go. So there is an extra mod you can add on for that. Let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. I'm just going to go over this house with you guys really quick. So um, it is better for this house if you have the uh, luxury spa pack because that's a major part of it and if you have the outdoor patio stuff pack because I don't have the outdoor patio stuff pack and there is stuff missing so just saying so it's kind of very modern modern-esque they live right next to coffee and Mr. Fox of course I I'm not gonna lie though if I live next to Ian Summerhalder I'm not sure how long that household would be coffee and Mr. Fox <laughs> Um, so this is what it looks like. Super mansion-y, which I love. Um, let's go ahead and go down to the base floor. The base floor has, let me go ahead and turn all the lights on. Turn on all lights. Okay. So the base floor has this adorable, very modern-esque kitchen with the bar stools. I love these bar stools. I've never actually seen them in use and I think they look great. Um, if you go over here, there's a very large dining area. It looks like maybe testing cheats and then move objects on. We're on for the table. There is this absolutely elegant and gorgeous patio area that is very sleek. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of room for having an outdoor party, including a bar. There is this absolutely beautiful garden area. There's like a green room and then an outdoor garden area. This house is just so well done. I can't even get over it. I believe there was some seating stuff here, but I don't have the patio stuff pack, so I don't have it. I need to like put different stuff in. Um, it looks like there is a fireplace, a few more couches that obviously I don't have in my game. There is an art room, which is absolutely beautiful. I believe this is some of Simming with Abby's custom content stuff too, maybe like the canvases I think might be. Um, there is a little game area where people could play chess. There's also a shower 
sink and toilet right here basically like a little bathroom this house is so well done i want to live here um going upstairs there is an upstairs pool which i think you actually have to get to from the next floor so we'll get there but the, you can see the pool through here there is a child's room it looks like maybe another child's room because it looks like there's like some athletic gear on the floor here and a violin not saying adults can't be athletic or anything like that but generally you see that stuff in a child's room there is a nursery that comes pre-installed with it and of course another bedroom so it's definitely made for a large family going up to the final floor this is like the master bedroom i would say um, I would use it as a master bedroom for sure. There is a very large, very, very large master bathroom. I'm in love with this bathroom. If it had a dual sink, it would be like my dream. Um, there is this awesome clothing area. There's a desk with a computer. There's a sitting area. I couldn't imagine having a bedroom big enough for like a big bed and a sitting area. Like that blows my mind. Um, and then there is the balcony where the pool is that goes right off the master. So, I mean, I feel like as far as design goes, that's a little weird having the pool up where the master is just because everybody's going to go like tripsy trapping through your room to get to the pool and then if you want to get freaky in the pool which you can't in the sims but if you wanted to in real life um everybody could see you from like the second floor but you know whatever 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 it is whatever um and then it looks like there is also oh there's stairs that leads up to this from somewhere else this is where the spa would go if you had the patio stuff it looks like the stairs for the spa are down here so um all in all i think the house really really is well done. Maybe there's some minor tweaks I would make to it, but nothing crazy. And just make sure you have all the stuff pack stuff or you're going to be replacing some things. So let me go ahead and go into the gallery real quick. I'll show you where I got the house, where I got the characters, and then I will show you where... Um, I will show you how to install the mod. So when I went to find the lot, I went to the 40 by 30. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and save and actually go to edit town so you guys can see where I place this lot in the game too. Uh, just because I think that that makes it a lot easier for everyone. Um, if you can actually see where it is too. So, mm. it's like my first cup of coffee for the day and it's like, almost 3 p.m. because I'm an insane person. So um, this is part of my Newcrest building series. So obviously it's in Newcrest. I put it right next to my house, right next to Coffee's house, um, Rot Her. And if you go into the gallery, the way that you will find this is you go to lots. Um, so you go to, no, sorry, you go to community, you go to lots. I checked the little lots box right here. Um, I left everything the same, except I did go ahead and go down to advanced and I hit include custom content and excuse me in the item name, I searched modern and it was the second house that popped up. It's by cute candy, Andy, cute candy, Andy. Um, I don't even, did I favorite this? Yeah, I did. I was say if I didn't favorite this, I need to, um, but this is it right here. It's the modern serenity. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you want to, oh, actually it's right here. Um, so on the gallery, I had to go through a different little loop to get it because somebody actually stole this upload um, and re-uploaded it themselves, which I don't really like that about the gallery that it makes that so easy for people. But our, uh, Archie, Archie, I don't know how to say that, but this is who makes it. Um, this is the Ian, this is the Nina. And they are just super beautiful. Looks better in Cass, apparently, the Vampire Diaries. Like, these are some of the hashtags you could look for to find it as well if you are having trouble. Um, but that is them. I did change my Elena or Nina a little bit to have bigger lips, different hair, and different clothing. But other than that, that is all. So let's go ahead and I will show you how to install the mod. Okay, so I went ahead and I downloaded the mod and when you download it, generally on a PC, it's going to show up in your downloads folder. So this is mine. It says MTS, blah, 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 pregnancy mod. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you do need to have WinRAR installed. You can get that for free online. You're gonna go ahead and right click this and go extract here. It's gonna pop up a little thing really quick and that's gonna go away. This was the file you, previously extracted from, this is what it gave you is these two top files. So you're going to go ahead and pick up one, push shift on your keyboard and click the other one. That'll highlight both of them. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and drag them. You're going to left click, hold it down, drag them to documents, 
My Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then go down to Mods and drop it there. Um, I already have one in there though, so I'm not gonna drop it into my mods folder because my mods folder has a bunch of stuff in it and I already had that installed and I don't want that to make things weird. So um, that is how you would install it. You would just close this window out, open your game and it should be good to go. So that is everything for the pregnancy mod. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know down below what else you hope to see inside of Newcrest. If you have any people you want me to add to my Newcrest town, please leave them on the gallery with the hashtag coffee or for coffee. I usually check the hashtag coffee, K-O-F, oh my gosh, I can't even spell my own username, K-O-F-F-E-E. -E. Um, if you just leave that as a hashtag, I do check it periodically and I will try to add my Sims to Newcrest for you guys. So that is all we have today. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at coffee YT. This is coffee signing off.